Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel. Hi, I'm Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting exponential equation, 2 to the x equal to x to the power of 32. If you have your answer, your solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check our answers. Okay, so the first step, how can we solve this question? Let's try to group our constant on the left side and our variables on the right side. First of all, let's rewrite our question. Okay, so we have 2 to the power x equal to x to the power 32. And our first step, we're going to raise both sides to the power 1 over x. Okay, when we raise this, it's a really important moment right now. We're going to raise both sides to the power 1 over x. As a result, we have 2 to the power x raised to the power 1 over x equal to x to the power 32 raised to the power 1 over x. So our first step, we just raise both sides uh, to the power 1 of x. It changes nothing for us, but when we know a really important property, it helps us a lot. When we know that this property a to the power x raised to the power y, we're going to multiply it a to the power x times y. And let's apply this property on both sides because we have absolutely the same case on both sides. First of all, let's multiply on the left side. As a result, we have 2 to the power x times 1 over x equal to x to the power 32 times 1 over x, right? So I hope you understand this step. We just multiply both sides. We just multiply our powers right here and right here. But on the left side, if you look closely, we have x times 1 of x, we can easily cancel it, okay? And as a result, on the left side, we have only our, our 2. And on the right side, we have x to the power 32 over x, 32 over, over x. Alright, so we hope you understand this step. And right now, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over 32. As I told before, we want to group our constant on the left side and our variables on the left on the right side. And when we raise both sides to the power 1 over 32, we will have really interesting expression. We will have 2 to the power 1 over 32 equal to x to the power 32 over x, alright, raised to the power 1 over 32. All right, and as I told before, we're gonna multiply this power by this power, but this 32 is in our numerator, this 32 in our denominator, so we can easily cancel in our head, we can easily cancel this 32, and we have only 1 over x. All right, so as a result, we have 2 to the power 1 over 32 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And as I told before, this is our first step. We just group constant on the left side or on the right side. Let's change position a little bit, okay? Let's write this on the left side. Maybe someone uh, prefer variables on the left side. So let's do this. So we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 2 to the power 1 over, over 32. Okay, so this is our first step. I really hope you understand it. We just raise first of all to the power uh, 1 over x and secondly to the power 1 over 32 and right now we have variables on the left side and our constant we have on the right side. So I really hope you understand this first step. What are we going to do next? Right now let's try to rewrite this expression on the right side. What I mean right now? Instead of this 1 over 32, just look at it, instead of this 1 over 32, instead of this power, I want to write this expression. I want to write 2 over 64. All right, this is absolutely the same thing. When we cancel it by 2, we will have absolutely the same expression. But I want to use this 2 over uh, 64. Okay, let's see what will happen. So as a result, we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 2 to the power 2 over 64. So instead of this 1 over 32, I'm going to write this 2 to the 2 over 64. Okay, and right now, the next tricky move, I really hope you understand it, the next tricky move, this 2 over 64 can be written as 2 times 1 over 64, okay? I really hope you understand it, so let's do this. So we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 2 to the power 2 times 1 over 64 right? And if you look closely, I really want you to understand one really important important property. When we have a to the power x raised to the power y, when we have something like that, we can easily write it as a to the power x times y. Everyone prefer this property in that way, from here to here, but when we have a product, we can easily write this x inside parentheses, so it looks like we can easily uh, use this property in a reverse way, okay? So right here we have a product, so we can easily write it as 2 to the power 2 raised to the power 1 over 64, just look at it. So we have x to the power 1 over x, the same left side, but on the right side, let's write it as 2 to the power 2 raised to the power 1 over 64, alright? 
So I really hope you understand it, which is equal to 2 square equal to 4 to the power 1 over 64. All right, so this is our first our first step. And right now I'm going to do the same thing. So instead of this, so let's just repeat this algorithm once more. We have 4 to the power 1 over 64. Right now I'm going to multiply this power by, uh, by 2. So this 1 over 64, I'm going to multiply it by 2. So this is the same as 2 to the power 128. All right, this is absolutely the same thing. And this 2 to the power over 128 can be written as 2 times 1 over 128. All right, so instead of this power, we can easily use this one, which is absolutely the same thing. So let's do this right now. So we just repeat our algorithm. So x to the power 1 over x equal to, what do we have right here? We have 4, uh, we have 4 to the power, instead of this, we're going to write this one, 2 times 1 over 100, 2 times 1 over 128. And let's repeat once more this step. We're going to write this 2 as a power of this 4, according to this, according to this property, all right? This is equal to 4 squared to the power 100, 1 over 128, all right? All right, this 4 squared, this is 16. So as a result, we have x to the power 1 over x, equal to 16 to the power 1 over 128. So we just do the uh, two steps. First of all, we do one algorithm. We do this step once more. We do this step. We change this power by this 1 over 32. We change by this power and use this property. This is like the first step. And we repeat this once more. And right now we need to repeat this once more, okay? So 1 over 128, 1 over 128, we can write as 2 over 256 and of course we can write it as 2 times 1 over 256 so this power we're gonna change by this expression okay let's do this right now as a result we have x to the power 1 over x equal to 16 to the power 2 times 1 over 156 so we have 2 times 1 over 250, 256. And we'll do the same step. We're going to write these two as a power of 16. So we have 16 square raised to the power 1 over 256. 16 square, this is over 256. So as a result, from the left side, we have x to the power 1 over x. But on the right side, we have 16 square, 256 to the power 1 over 256, 1 over 256. And right now, as you can see, we did four, uh, three steps. First of all, we do uh, the, this algorithm, we repeat it, and we repeat it once more. So first of all, we change this by this power by this. Secondly, we change this power by this one. And the third step, we change this power by this power. So it changed nothing for us. But in the same way, if you look closely what expression we get right now, x to the power 1 over x equal to 20, 20, 256 to the power 1 over 256. If you look closely, this is like the same structure of uh, expression. So we have x, we have 1 over x, we have power, we have, we have a constant and 1 over a constant. But if you look closely, we have absolutely the same base and absolutely the same base. So, for example, this is our x and we have absolutely the same x right here. So one and only way that this equation have root when x equal to 256. 256. So this is our x. x equal to 256 after all of this step. And right now I feel like a lot of students might be confused because I understand, but right now I'm going to show you once more how we solve this question. So first of all, we split it. I really hope you understand when we split constant and variables. We have this like the first step. This is our first step. We just split it. Secondly, we just change this 1 over 32 as 2 over 64. And then we split it in terms of multiplication and we grab this 2 inside parentheses. And we repeat this algorithm uh, how many times? This is our, uh, this is our, looks like the first step when we repeat this algorithm. Right here we have 1 over, 60, uh, 1 over 64. We repeat it. So this is our second step right here. And the third step, we have 1 over 128. We write this as product. So we repeat this algorithm three times. All you need to do is to understand the first, the first step when we write this 1 over 32 as 2 over 64. 
Okay, so I really hope you understand it. You can also pause this. I really, I give 100% you will understand this uh, this explanation, but maybe you need to pause the video and uh, I really, maybe a lot of students understand this uh, approach, which is also really great because in another way, it's so hard to solve this question to find uh, to find an approach, okay? So you can also pause the video. You can also write a question down into the comment section, but I give 90%, 99% that when you pause the video, you will understand this explanation 100% because this is like a tricky move. This is not a comment solution this is not a general solution this is like a tricky method with a lot of really interesting really interesting tricks so our answer to this question let's write it our answer x is equal to 256 so you can also write a question down into the comment section write your notes about this question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it and thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life see you in the next videos